Hi folks, Friday, March 5th, 2021, a very special day. For that reason I left work earlier, went to the Lake Valley Retrolabs and uh, prepared to film this video. The whole thing is about the Sinclair ZX81, which we celebrate the 40th launch anniversary today. I have many goodies for you to see in this video, so let's start. Here is a bunch of papers where on top of it is the official press information of that day. It was on Thursday, March 5th, 1981, where Sinclair Research uh, had a press conference and announced several things. First about changes in the company and then the major thing, the launch of the Sinclair ZX81 personal computer for the rocket price of 69.95 British pound. On the very same day Sinclair also announced the so-called Sinclair ZX printer which is a, a thermal uh, printer to be connected to the Sinclair ZX computers. And uh, those press releases here are photocopies from the original ones which uh, I scanned a couple of years ago and which are available on the Sinclair QL .net website. This folder here came from uh, Rodney Dale, a friend of Sir Clive, and uh, it has some hand notes of Rodney to Clive and so on, and were about all the Sinclair story from the early calculators day to the Sinclair vehicles day in the mid 1980s. So in this folder there were some unique ZX81 goodies. First there's the official press photograph showing Sir Clive Sinclair with the ZX81 in hand. This is one of the original print which were given to uh, press members. Another original print is this uh, ZX81 computer with a hand operating a key and the third one in that folder is the official uh, photograph of the Sinclair ZX printer. Those photographs on the back have a, an original uh, sticker with, with the background information for the media guys. Also original from Sinclair Research is another folder which has uh, copies of the marketing material. So this is the brochure, a folding brochure of the Sinclair ZX81. Uh, launch day material with the original prices of uh, 69.95 for the complete built computer or 49.95 for the kit to uh, assemble the computer on your own and also announced and uh, available now the ZX printer. There are some more uh, flyers in this uh, folder not going to each and every detail now, but uh, along the way what is important is to learn that even it was a rock bottom price, the computer got lowered after it had a massive success. Uh, also very unique and classy was the artwork design for Sinclair ZX81 publications all those futuristic space drawings. Here is uh, the software catalog for the ZX81 
and uh, there's another one. I also have uh, some uh, uh, good to print copies for uh, software packagings. So this is a huge uh, page which came from the printer itself. It has all the the color marks here and it's about the Psyon software range for the Sinclair ZX81. It's really nice papers but the uh, papers are one thing uh, the real thing is what is of interest and uh, let's have a look at the real thing. So here's a Sinclair ZX81, a real machine in nice condition and uh, for today's uh, video I opened the case and uh, partly dismantled it to show you uh, what's inside. So it's a two-piece uh, injection molded plastic case shell and inside is the main board, the only board of the Sinclair ZX81. You can spot on the PCB the name of the computer and also the issue of the PCB and uh, this is from quite an early machine and the main board and the components are in a pristine condition, no user modifications and uh, I removed the screws to show you the main board and the beauty of this uh, electronic design which was mainly done by Jim Westwood uh, of Sinclair Research. On the back side of the PCB you see that this one is really in very nice condition. The industrial design, the case and uh, all the optical elements were designed by uh, famous industrial designer Rick Dickinson. This was his first computer designed and it was the first he did for Sinclair Research. He did quite some other machines uh, including the Sinclair QL which was uh, another masterpiece. Okay, that's uh, on the main desk. Short introduction to the machine uh, to the launch day and uh, let's move uh, along the way in my lab to another place where we can see more things all Sinclair ZX81. So here on the wall is from the basic programming manual a large copy of the artwork and on the shelf are various uh, computers and peripherals. Um, on top shelf there's the Sinclair ZX81 model which was sold in the United States by the partner company Timex under the brand name Timex Sinclair 1000 and you see here the price tag uh, $99.95 so this was roughly the equivalent to the British price. Um, Timex was also the assembly plant which built all the ZX81 for Sinclair so it was uh, quite a nice move that they formed a joint venture to uh, market the Sinclair computers in North America. Here I have uh, one of my ZX81s with a sticker on it which uh, I glued it on when I was a kid, so it's still uh, there and it states I love Sinclair computers. That's the nice original setup uh, computer with 16K RAM pack and uh, the Sinclair ZX printer which uh, had uh, printed a screenshot of the Psyon Chess program. Also very nice were all the software packages, the Sinclair branded one, high quality labels and uh, yeah packaging was uh, another thing 
this was quite neutral packaging of RAM pack of the printer and the computer itself I would have loved to be more fancy like with this futuristic space design but I think it was a, a realistic way to pack it that way to not over stress people in the early 80s with a computer so you saw what you get and so with this approach it was more than okay so inside the box of the computer there is this uh, nice Sinclair engraved packaging material uh, also two shells one top shell and one bottom shell and in the bottom shell normally there was the, the computer power adapter and everything and in this packaging I have um, a Sinclair ZX81 in kit form so it's still uh, unassembled so it's just like it came with mail order and uh, allows you to build assemble your own computer and uh, this is really nice brand new old stock uh, Sinclair ZX81 kit you see the same main board here uh, unpopulated not soldered also issue one in a pristine condition and here in small plastic bags all the components needed so this was uh, in the UK uh, all black packaging uh, looking towards my home country Switzerland and it's uh, uh, dominated by uh, the German uh, importer of Sinclair at that da day it was uh, Jürgen Schumpik near Munich and in Germany and Switzerland the packaging was in yellow and uh, sure all the wording was in German like Bausatz for a kit inside it was the very same stuff and here I have another uh, unassembled ZX81 kit with the manual and uh, the machine and the PCB and components so that was uh, the first computer I really built my own kit is uh, no longer exists it's now a real computer and uh, yeah those were nice days in the early 80s uh, here's a picture of myself with uh, Rick Dickinson the famous industrial designer who did all those miracles at Sinclair uh, he became a good friend of mine and uh, very unfortunately very sad he died uh, in April 2018 so I lost really a good friend talking a bit of Rick's work so in about October 1980 he sketched uh, possibilities of an expandable Sinclair ZX81 at uh, that day still named uh, ZX80 Mark II so it was with modules behind the main unit and uh, very spacey design uh, the whole thing happened with a third party maker with the company called Memotech they did quite a few expansion units for uh, the ZX81 and they looked in the very end very similar to Rick's uh, sketch so what I should have here is uh, the ZX81 uh, running but uh, somehow I lost uh, the computer <laughs> I promise you so minutes ago there was something on screen written in Sinclair basic like uh, ZX81 is 40 so maybe the power supply died or something else happened so we only have a uh, entrees on the screen not the big thing I think uh, it's pretty old machine and it deserves to get some rest 
So let's uh, enjoy the visuals of the Memotech expansions, keyboard and interfaces with the ZX81. Then next uh, I took out of uh, the shelf the so-called Sinclair ZX81 Learning Lab. It's a large folder with very nice uh, illustrations in the same space design and uh, inside the folder there is software, there are cassettes with uh, different courses and uh, yeah, really nice thing to get into computing and into the world of Sinclair ZX81. Uh, also the manual is huge, the folder is similar to what Sinclair did uh, later on with the QL, so it's a heavy folder, it's A4 format and uh, nice printing and uh, it's really nice publication and what I like the most are the chapter title pages they are really gorgeous uh, black and white prints of uh, the same space theme and uh, linked with the ZX81 good Next, uh, there is a large box, not that large. The box uh, holds all my ZX81 legacy. So from the early 80s, including some uh, drawings I did when I was in my professional education. And it also includes uh, some prints of um, the photographs I did when I unboxed my first uh, ZX81 in the early 80s and it also includes uh, a printed catalog of my Kovo electronic business I started in the uh, early 80s about 1984 and this was the, the catalog for computers CB radio and electronic components and one of the main product line I was selling were Sinclair ZX81 uh, hardened software and uh, I learned today that uh, um, assembly instruction for the, my own Sinclair ZX81 kit is also in that box and there are many other gems I need to go through one day uh, inside. In fact, it's all my ZX81 legacy inside. Good. Time is running out shortly. Camera just has a space for one more minute. So what I did uh, is to put one of my ZX81 on the rotating desk and uh, let the QLs salute and uh, gratulate to the ZX81's uh, 40th launch anniversary today. So I wish you all the best. Enjoy Sinclair computing. Stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, yeah, all the best. Bye.